Mailbag. Got some mail here. Uh, this one I already opened. And this was a uh, Unity. I think it's a 320D. It's a dual thermometer. Uh, K type and J type. Um, little handheld thermometer. Um, and it comes with two thermocouples and can do type K, type uh, J. It can do uh, differential measurements and it has an internal NTC to, to um, compensate. It says the uh, accuracy for K is 50 through 1300C. They call these contact thermometers. Um, or contact probe thermometers plus or minus 0.5% plus 1 and it's about the same for a J up to 1200 and then uh, these must be the options differential C or F K or J operating humidity and temperature so I'm gonna try that out see if it's nice uh, I forget how much it was maybe $10 or something like that all right, next, cardboard cutter. All right, I admit I saw these on Adafruit, and I bought a, I bought it on eBay. These are called it's Canary, it's Japanese. Um, I didn't buy it from Adafruit. Um, I bought it, I think I bought it on eBay. It's basically a fancy butter knife. It's made for cutting cardboard. It can't hurt you, um, but I have a bunch of cats and I thought being able to cut cardboard and build little cat houses might be uh, pretty handy. I think this is like a seven, eight dollar tool. But it was a really cool uh, specialized tool made for cutting um, cardboard. It's pretty much what it's made for. Um, it's serrated, so you, it's supposed to be able to just cut it like butter. I don't, I don't have any cardboard, but you can see it. It works. So that's that. I'll put that back in here. Oh, it looks got a little, it's got a little holder. All right, next timing module. I think I know what these are. These are those C2005s, I think they are called. I forget. Uh, these are little timing modules. I don't know what they're, they're probably used for toys. But last time I bought timing modules, they were not timing modules. They were frequency generators, oscillators. These should actually create a timing, uh, timing output based on whatever resistor you put in here. It's an RC time constant, and then it has a multiplier select here. I think it's maybe X10 or X100. So I think you can time from seconds down to hours or hundreds of hours. I don't know how accurately, I think it depends on the voltage. But uh, if you just need something really low tech to uh, fire something off every now and then, these might be cool. Uh, or I might use them to wake up a microcontroller that's not really important, that can get its own timestamps and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll use that for that, I guess. Uh, this says development board. I didn't order any development boards that I know of. It must be a kit. Uh, no, this is... Um, Alright, so I really like these. I bought a bunch of them and I've already used them all for different projects. These are USB uh, boost converters. I don't know if they'll buck. I think they're only for boosting. But uh, basically you plug your USB in and then you can vary the output up to 24 volts. And uh, So I have a lot of stuff that you want to use something that's 24 volts on 5 volts and these are perfect um, especially if you want like a little project that's a relay powered USB or uh, some fans uh, computers like certain case fans not computer fans but well yeah computer fans or uh, industrial fans that are 24 volts um, I use this for controlling a thermometer that runs off 24 volt AC even though this is DC it still works and uh, you get your output here and you also have uh, input contacts if you don't want to use the USB um, so I bought five of them. I, I bought five last time and I wound up using them all. So I bought a whole bunch of more of those. They're very handy. I like them. I think they can do up to like 600 milliamps or at least 200 milliamps. 
the 24 volts. It's not too bad. All right, I got one more. Light controlled sensor. These are... I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It seems to be a kit, but it seems to be multiple kits. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Um, it seems to be some kind of kit that doesn't have a circuit board. So it's basically a handful of components, which is a light, a CDS cell, two transistors, and two resistors. I have no idea what this is. I don't remember buying four pieces of this. And there's no circuit board, so I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. This makes no sense to me. I will have to look this up and see what that is. I also got, um, I picked up some of these uh, little toys that were on clearance. These are basically LED purses, plastic purses. I took it apart. These have P6 panels inside of them um, and a controller. So I'm probably going to hack these up. Um, and use them as signage. It's basically this uh, a diffuser. That's a P6 75 hub, hub 75 con uh, interface board. Pretty standard. Um, hopefully, a library already works with it. If not, I'll have to write my own. They don't have output jacks, so I can solder one on if I want to chain them. I really want to chain two of them, maybe. They have like a scrolling sign. Um, they're not the best resolution. They're only P6, not P5 or P4. But uh, they, they, was, were, they were fairly cheap. Um, and um, I should be able to get decent refresh rates. And they just do, uh, they have some pre-programmed stuff. And this is like basically for, for girls, teaching girls to code and stuff like that. Um, I think you hook your phone up to it and they program it through an audio interface. Uh, and it's also got a microphone, so it must be able to pull data back off of the panel too. So maybe I'll reverse engineer the protocol and use the I squared, uh, I2S output of a ESP32 or something, but I doubt it. I think it's just gonna be easier to add my own interface and just c control it myself. And this is basically the controller that comes with it. It's got an I squared C output, um, test mode, input switch, and power, and an onboard connector. But I don't think I'm going to have any use for this. You can't reprogram it. It's a chip on board. It's pretty useless. Unless, I, unless it has some kind of I squared C protocol where I can just feed in bitmaps. That would be kind of cool. Um, but I mean, I'm not going to wind up using this because the frame rate's really low and, um, I, I want a faster processor so I could do, uh, dithered bitmaps and stuff like that. Or not dithered, but, um, bit control or whatever, uh, you know, to do fake PWM on these, on these kind of panels. So that's it. So, um, that's everything I got for now. Till next time.